Had a very, very busy 2020 as president of the WNBA Players Association. She negotiated a new a new collective bargaining agreement contended with keeping players safe from COVID-19 and actively addressed social justice with her fellow players and all that while averaging 13 points a game for the LA Sparks. We are thrilled to welcome six-time All-Star and WNBA champion Neka Ogwamake. Thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate it. And there is a lot to talk about. You have been in the news this week, certainly with uh, that disparity that we've been talking about between the men's and the women's tournaments, and specifically that photo of the weight rooms. Tell me um, your reaction when you saw that. I'm sure it wasn't surprising, but I'm hoping at least you see the reaction perhaps being different this time around than it has been in years past. Well, first of all, thank you for having me. It's such a pleasure. Um, and you hit the nail on the head. You're absolutely right. Many of us, both in um, college sports and just women in sport in general and professional sports, we were not surprised. And, and it's disappointing that it's gotten to a point where that is what we're not surprised about. Um, although we don't want it to be our expectation, uh, I, I do think that it is wonderful that we have these brands and organizations that are pitching in to rectify the situation. But the issue is that the perspective on equality um, was a problem in the first place. There was no one there that said, hey, this might not be a good idea, even if we're looking at it just <laughs> optically and not worrying about what they deserve. I mean, at the, at the very base level, there was no one there to rectify that. And that's something that needs to change, which has as players have a voice and they show exactly what they deserve, and, and things are things are happening in a way where it will be a first thought, hopefully, in the future. That's so funny you say that because it, they didn't even care about the optics of it. Like, yeah. just even if it's not yeah. in your heart and what you believe, <laughs> just fake it. Just it just doesn't look good. It just doesn't yeah. look good. Okay, <laughs> it's too bad that's where we are. But you've been speaking up. A lot of athletes have been speaking up, and even over the past several years, with uh, you go back to Colin Kaepernick. There's kind of a, a movement of athletes finding their voices here. What is, what do you think? of the idea of maybe a responsibility now. People are being told, or athletes, shut up and dribble, shut up and drive, shut up and run, shut up and catch that pass. But is there a responsibility? What's your feeling now of mm -hmm. athletes finding their voice? Um, you know, it's such a beautiful evolution. We have found our voices um, because, quite frankly, we wish we could just shut up and dribble, but that's just <laughs> not the world we live in. So we have to use our platform um, in a way that holds ourselves accountable, that educates ourselves, and, and hopefully educates our fans and holds all of the people that follow us accountable because we have a platform. And, and to not use it is a disservice. You negotiated the collective bargaining agreement between the players and the WNBA. What are you most proud of in that agreement? Oh, yeah. Well, I, I definitely do, didn't do it by myself. So <laughs> <laughs> It was a team of people, uh, both on our PA side and the league, and of, most importantly, the players. We wanted to make sure that the players' voices were reflected in the agreement. And something that we can be very proud of is, of course, the bump in salary and compensation, the investment in the league um, for us to prioritize it as, as we phase it in over the, over the course of this agreement, for the league to also invest in us with league marketing agreements and team marketing agreements, and then, of course, um, so many benefits for moms and planning moms as we are working women and for them to be able to enhance their quality of life without having to sacrifice uh, wanting to start a family and wanting to be m working mothers as well. All beautiful things, all important uh. things and so happy to hear that that's all progress that's being made. And uh, again, we just we loved having you on the show, president of the WNBA Players Association and forward for the L.A. Sparks, <laughs> Neka Ogwamake. Thank you so much for being with us. Have a great weekend. Thank you. You know, she has been called the smartest player in the WNBA. You know who called her that? Magic Johnson. Amazing. Well, she just Magic she Johnson. just certainly lived up to it. Just there. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.